Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. You know me, Mark Morris, toiletobeautybroke.com, toiletobeautybroke.com. Right now I'm in the park. It's nice and quiet. The baseball, softball fields are closed. How you guys doing today? You know, I was just thinking, how did I become a salesman? How did I go from being an engineer with my PE to focusing on business a lot? Well, back in 1995, I got laid off. I realized there's an economic impact to the world. It's all about, when you don't have no money, man, you're in trouble, man. I remember the only way I could get unemployment back then was you have to work or you have to go to school. And even if you weren't working, you have to, like, show proof that you were going to different like get do different in, interviews and stuff it's not like it is now man like you just get some free money no 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 you have to work for that money and i believe i got my first sales job i think i was helping out i know i worked costco decorating was 2001 i believe my first job dealing with money was when i worked for ups back in the old days there used to be a i think it was in southgate or somewhere like boyle heights they used to have a facility where people, all the UPS drivers brought their money in at the end of the day. So it was a combination accounts receivable and a garage for the trucks. I remember I used to count money, man. And they used to be strict on that money. You could only be off by a dollar or two dollars. That's my first experience of money. I mean, real money where they'd be watching you. And I remember I used to go home, like, hang out, hang out with Denise. She's my friend next door. She was an escort used to give me some alcohol. I used to talk to her a lot. She taught me about money. She said, say, they want to fuck, Martin. They want to have spend time with me. They got to spend the money. Maybe a, a couple of times spend a little money, but she still used to work at a hostess club. But she said, it's all about the money. I didn't really think much about it until I had my 2008 when I had my first, did my first real estate deals. And I had a couple of uh, units in Yucca Valley. And I thought, hey, I'll fix up these units because I'm black. You know, black people, we know how it is to be discriminated against and have bad house. I want to make this place good for them. Brought in some rocks and fence. Didn't give a fuck, man. Once you raise that rent, those, they scatter like roaches, man. That's why I was like, if I ever got into a real estate again and you have under four, under 16 units, going to be a slumlord. And now heading into 20. 23 people pay over a thousand dollars for a car payment you know for my 1993 nissan pathfinder i paid only 299 dollars 2007 bmw brand new off the lot two door 325 ci i paid five 499 or maybe five at the most including insurance for the car now people are paying a thousand dollars man People got Mercedes, Audis, everyone has an electric car. But the problem is, what did I teach you about? I finally realized the power interest because they're saying people with cars last year spent five, it was five point, no, it was 5.69% for the interest for the car. And this year it's 8.95%. That's a difference of almost $500. If you divide it by 12, that comes out to $48 a month. And then I was thinking, what can you buy for $48 a month? You go to Kentucky Fried Chicken, get the chicken and all the fixings, like four movie tickets, um, uh, maybe a bag, bag of groceries. Um, what else could it be? Gas. That's like five gallons of gas. So that's a lot of money, man. If it's eight gallons, like 12, oh, okay, almost 10 gallons of gas. That's a lot of money. And now you wonder why the economy is starting to slow. Even at Costco, they, their sales were down to 0 .09 per, down. They only grew by 0.09%, the lowest since 2020. And all the rate hike things have not hit yet. Because if you have a credit card, there's a clause that says they can increase your credit card by the prime, prime rate, which is the rate that the feds increase their thing, means your credit card can go up. So some of you guys are paying 33, 28, 27, 26%. When they finish passing on those uh, income hike, those uh, Fed rate heights to you, some of you are going to be paying 30%. And that's what I call the in interest gap. Even the interest gap works with you or works against you. And I'll tell you about why later. But you think about it. Would you ever pay $2,000 in a year on a loan? Or would you probably pay 
500 say and then I have fifteen one thousand five hundred dollars left that's the interest gap man that's the money left between all your different interests what you would pay at the higher rate versus what you would pay at a lower rate and that's what the next book's going to push the economy into a recession, but it hasn't put, doesn't have to put you in a recession because you got to scramble like I showed you with the Citibank cards. I show you. That's why people say, my loans don't go down. Well, because the banks want you to pay the interest. It don't matter who they are. Pawn shop. I'll show you different examples from a pawn shop. If they give you $500 at 25% a year, how much is that is? I'm going to show you how it is for a house loan. House loan, I'll do you later line of credit but it's all the same thing most of the interest is annual so that's what i learned back when i first got laid off it's all about the benjamins man now 2023 is even worse man i see more people in luxury cars at audis than i do at the mall you see porsches and all kind of cars and you know what a, a porsche is not a luxury car a lambo is a luxury car so mercedes and stuff going all these cheap places Going in a Trader Joe's being one bag where you got five kids. What is that magic beans? That's what I say. Let's follow what I'm gonna teach you, man. The interest is either your friend or your foe. And that's how I want you to learn. After business summit with Grant Carlo, I'm gonna go deeper in this for you. I have different programs for you. And yes, I do charge money. Because you know what? Either you get to pay me or you pay the man because you haven't paid off your loans. And I'm gonna show you how to pay down those loans because if not you're going to pay more interest for everything so subscribe subscribe let me know write down your loan balances for your credit card for your lines of credit from the pawn shop to the house let me show you how to calculate the interest do you even know how to calculate your interest they could be ripping you off if you don't know how to do it because the problem is you get the interest and they always tack on 10 or 20 dollars above that that's why your loans go down so slow the loans go down so slow because, especially for credit cards, if any bill that you need to pay faster than anything is a credit card. And I'll talk to you about that why later. And the most, the most important interest, most important thing you got to remember is not the annual interest you pay a year, it's the monthly interest. Because the monthly, monthly payments combined with your how much you pay on the, whatever they give you as a statement will determine how fast your loan goes down so i want to help you with that too for now subscribe 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 check out my interest programs but let me know what you think man loans let me give me to me loans houses car notes title notes let me show you how to calculate that interest because some of you guys may be getting rid off i may be able to save you some money Instead of paying, and if you get those loans paid off quicker, then if you ever go back to the market and get, get interest, it'll get less. Later.